Good evening. You are muted. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Okay, fantastic. Um, Mr. Rudy is not joining. He sent me a message oh. that he is with his family. Enjoy oh, okay. evening dinner together. Okay. All right. So what we are going to do is today I'm going to start um, test automation. Okay. okay. Just we will start with fundamentals. You can say very basic. Just try to understand the concept, okay? So what okay. I'm doing, I just press on command spacebar on MacBook. And if you are using Windows, mm -hmm. then it should be control spacebar. Okay, think, or or uh, you can just go to start, you know, start search bar. It is uh, either at the middle bottom or on the left bottom. Okay, then yeah, I the left, just, yeah. yeah, I just type Eclipse and I have uh an eclipse, I have option one, two, three. Okay, I can choose anyone. Let's choose this one. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and click on launch. And eclipse is being launched. Okay, uh, yesterday we work on it, right? All right. I'm going to create a project and I'm not choosing Java project by this time. Uh, I am choosing this project, okay? Not Java project, project. Then, I just type here, maybe, okay? Did we install maybe on your computer? Yes or no? Did we? You are muted. I think we did, maybe. Just click on maybe in project, click on next, okay? And check in, create a sample, sample or simple project. Then click on next. Then whatever application you are going to test, say for example, facebook.com, just right reverse first com dot facebook okay facebook then artifact id will be your project name say for example first tests automation say for example then you don't need to fill up these things. Just click on finish and first test automation is there. Okay, now 
uh, look very carefully, observe very carefully. Earlier, the project we created, Java project, was very limited. Limited. I mean, uh, we had only just JRE system library and SRC folder, only two, right? One is um, software's jar files that executes our program. And another one is SRC. But by the, this time, uh, we have different folder structures. We didn't create it. It is Maven build automation tool created everything for us. Thus, Maven build automation tool save our time. It helps us to uh, handle our project more efficiently, okay? And it saves our time. We have packages, src main slash java, src main resources. Usually the developers, software engineers, software developers, web developers, they work here. And the test automation engineers work next to packages, okay, we use it. And software engineers use it. Test engineer use them, okay. Then there is system library, then we see SRC, another folder, then target folder, and we have pom.xml file. This is file that created by Maven itself, okay? It comes with pair of tags like project opening tag and project closing tag. Difference between opening and closing tag is both take are same, but closing tag has a slash, right? Same way, model, version, opening tag, uh, model version is in between two angle brackets, opening angle bracket and closing angle bracket. And this is closing tag comes with just one slash here. And group ID, group ID slash, you see? opening tag and closing tag. This is opening tag and this is closing tag. Artifact ID, opening tag and artifact ID, closing tag. Artifact ID is the uh, name of the project and com.facebook group ID is the application we are going to test. And version is this one. And in between project, we create dependencies, tags, okay? Opening tag and closing tag. And dependencies, meaning collection of softwares. So we are going to put collection of dependency, okay? So, more than one dependency inside dependencies. Now, from where we can find the dependency here, meaning from where we can find the software, necessary software. Uh, you know, to download, install, and configuring Java was a matter of time we spent more than 30 minutes and to install another um, Eclipse ID, we spend another 30 minutes almost. But 
when you are using uh, maybe maybe uh, build automation tool, it will take only a couple of minutes to install all necessary um, dependencies or software. Let to Google and I just type MVN and I see Maven repository is there. I click here and the first link mavenrepository.com mvnrepository.com okay i can make it a little bigger and it is command plus on macbook and to make it smaller command minus and on windows it is control plus and control minus okay i click on maybe repository and i can make it a little bigger so that you can see it okay and i type here just selenium dash java we are going to uh, use selenium uh, automation tool and we are going to run it with java program that we already learned okay selenium java i just click here and selenium provides support for the for the automation of web browsers okay it helps to automate browser test browser based application or browser based um, software it provides extensions to emulate user interaction with browsers a uh, distribution server for scaling browser allocation and the infrastructure for implementations of the W3C web driver specification. We don't need to know all these things. Just uh, try to understand uh, Selenium is um, a set of tools that automates browsers that tests web-based software or application and there are uh, more than one versions here okay uh, and the top one is the latest one we are going to choose the latest version that is 4.6.0 i click here and here is the here is the dependency, okay? I just click here, just click, just click, okay? Click and right button click and copy the dependencies. Dependency meaning software, dependency means software and paste here, okay? This is one dependency meaning one software. Okay, Selenium dash Java and version is 4.6.0. And we are going to MVN repository again. Where is MVN repository? I think here. Okay, and type test ng, test ng dependency. Okay, I just click on search and I find org.testng, okay, and take testng, again, taking the latest one, and dependency is here, right button, click and copy, and go to the project, uh, in between dependencies, I'm saving it, okay, I just paste it, and I need another software, and that is Web Driver Manager. Web Driver Manager. Okay. And Web Driver Manager is here, and I'm taking the latest version too. Just click and right button click, copy, 
you go back to your project and just paste here and now i want to indent it i can indent on windows uh, just select okay and then press on tab button twice okay but on mac i can just go to i believe in source and format active elements where is target usually i think it is in project build block oh, oh, oh. no not in search not in navigate it should be i can see it okay and uh, i don't see Ooh. clean document format and uh, toggle element what is this edit Mm. Uh, if I go to file, mm. there should be like code here, but I don't see. Uh, and block, remove block, query files. I don't see. Okay, if I go to ex if Eclipse, mm -hmm. what's wrong? Okay, source. I don't see. If I click on format, what it will happen? Yes, when I click on format, and it has been indented. And uh, if you're using Windows, just select and click on tab button, okay? All right. Dependencies and dependencies, I can make it closer. Then whenever I right button click anywhere here, inside the canvas, this area, and click on save. Look here, you can see very quick um, green uh, green color is moving real fast. Uh, even we can see it's so fast, but on Windows, we can see it. green color is moving here for a couple of seconds. Okay, now uh, maybe in dependency library should be here, but we don't see it. Okay, it happens sometimes. If it happens, what we have to do, we have to click on the project, then right button click, go to properties, okay? Go to build path and libraries, we see maybe in dependencies here, okay? Just select it and click on apply, apply and close. I don't see Maven here yet. Okay. Uh, let me refresh. Where is refresh? Refresh. Not yet. In that case, what we can do, go to Maven. Okay. Then just click update project. And first test automation is selected and force updates. Meaning 
we are forcing maybe dependency to be updated you see maybe dependencies are now here okay the necessary software and jar files that will help us to handle this project more efficiently and it will help our time okay uh, now uh, another software it not being shown here and it is test ng okay so what we can do we can right button click and check here uh, no test ng is here so go to uh, again properties click on properties and uh, there is no test ng2 click on library library then can you see test ng here no test ng here right you cannot see test ng i see j unit is there but no test ng in that case uh, let's go to let me cancel it go to help okay then eclipse marketplace click on eclipse marketplace and type here test ng test ng then press enter mm, test ng for eclipse is there okay it's just a piece of software a plugin plugin meaning a piece of software that will help to work with test ng framework test ng is a framework that helps us to test any web-based application more efficiently okay and then just confirm and make sure all these are checked in confirm okay and it's asking us to accept the terms of the of the license agreements and click on finish and it's uh you see being uh, downloaded and installing uh install anyway security warning asking whether we want to install it whether we trust this software okay install in any way and it's being installed 80 percent done and already installed you saw everything downloaded and installed very quickly and restart once you uh, installed then just restart the eclipse ide it's being restarted all right all right and still we don't have test ng here we don't see it. in that case go to the project right button click and now we can see test ng convert test ng create test ng class and test ng is there but still we don't have in our project so i want to bring test ng go to properties and click on java build path no test ng here yet choose the library and add library click on add library and we don't see test ng here oh test ng is there now now just select it go to next and click on finish test ng is now here but not yet in the project when i click on apply it will go 
come here, okay? I click on apply and testing G is now here in the project. And now apply and close, clear. And now our test environment is ready. Now SRC slash test slash Java, this is our um, package where we can create another package. Actually, we can create multiple packages, okay? Package within package, okay? And I name it test cases because there can be um, multiple test cases, okay? And inside the test case, there will be a test class, okay? Right button click, new, click on class and name the test class, yes, test login, okay? Or you can say login functionality. Uh, you can name it anything, but it should be meaningful definitely, okay? Now, in Java programming, we always use public static void main, main method with check-in, but in test ng framework when we uh, test any web application or software using test ng we don't use public static void main we don't need main method because test ng has a very special test annotation that is at the rate tests okay at the rate test we call it um, what is test ng Testing is a very popular and strong framework that make easy testing web-based application or software, right? Okay, let me make it multi-line comments, okay? So, All right, okay, and uh, what is Selenium? Selenium web driver. Selenium is a set of tools that automates web web-based application or software. All right. And we are using TestNG. I say TestNG, TestNG does not need main method main method that java needs are you following me ignatius are you following me okay um main method test ng does not need main method as it has very powerful at the rate test annotation. 
Whenever you see at the rate, we call it decorator in programming language. And in test engine, we say annotation. And this is called test annotation. It's so powerful, it can execute our uh, test cases. Okay, now let's see how it does work. And test ng does have test ng does have some mm, tests we call fixtures or test annotations. These are at the rate before method. If you are using before method, uh, you are using at the rate after method. Okay, if you are using at the rate before, Plus, you will be using also after plus and some more annotations that we'll uh, see later on. I don't want to use everything right now and make you confused. Okay, we will learn a little by little. Okay, now first method we take is uh, just take void method and I just say this is set up method where we can invoke browser when we open open browser okay and every method has its scope that starts with curly braces and ends with curly braces, you see? Okay. And uh, scripts or codes goes here, okay? Right here, okay? This is setup method. Uh, let's make a skeleton first and another one is void uh, tear down tear down is closing browser okay uh, and this is also a method okay where we are closing browser Test setup is opening browser. That is mandatory if you want to test anything. And teardown is closing browser or closing test. Okay. And in between another method that is called test method okay this is setup method and this is tear down method in between we have test method and test case will be here the application we are going to test i say void and name of this test is test login okay Login, you can say login feature, okay? Uh, or you can say login functionality, whatever. And definitely this method does have also scope. Now I'm using before method first at the rate before method, okay? I said it is uh, test setup picture, 
and we can import before method from test in G, you see? And just click and before method has been imported. Same way, if you are using before method, always use after method, okay? It will be at the rate after method, okay? And also import it. If you don't want to import again and again, what you can do, just take out method, before method, and just put here star, star means all, all, annotations I want to import. I don't need to import uh, them again and again. You see, it has been automatically imported when I put star. Star uh, meaning all, everything, okay? And importing from org.testng.annotations, okay? And this is tests at the rate test annotation, meaning this is the test case. This is actually a test method, test method. And inside the test method, we have test case, test case. And test case does have more than one test steps okay so test case is uh, actually step by step instructions to test the web application based software or web application okay so this is the skeleton of our framework of our any test ng framework just like just design, like templates, okay? Like class, okay? It's just class. Inside the class, we have all these methods, okay? Do you remember inside the class, we uh, have in Java properties, methods, and main method. Instead of main method, we have here at the rate test annotation that works um, for main method. Instead of main method, it will um, working here like the main method. Okay. All right. Now uh, you can just test whether it is working fine. You can say system dot out dot print uh, ln okay if we disconnect it please join again after five minutes okay you can just get out from chair and stretch out take a glass of water or a cup of coffee okay and then come back all right uh, and we can say um, opens browser this method will opens browser and it will close this browser i can say closes browser okay and it will test the application this method will test the application test application, okay? Just uh, right button click and go to run as now, instead of Java application, we find test ng test, click on test ng test, and it will execute, okay? It's executing, you see, 